Hey girl, hey, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, I'm Monet, and if not, hey boo, welcome back. So y'all, I'm gonna be taking these old braids down today. But they're actually not that old. It's only been like, what, two weeks? But nevertheless, these braids are coming down. I'm ready to wash my hair, and it's also time for a new protective style. Gotta switch it up, you know? So y'all, I'm gonna put y'all on game real quick. This is something that I learned how to do throughout my natural hair journey that has really been helpful with retaining length. So if you wanna see how I take these braids down with no breakage, keep watching. So this is what my braids are looking like after almost two weeks. I ain't gonna lie, my hair looking a little rough. Because I sewed the back of my hair down when I originally did these braids, cutting a thread is the first thing I need to do. Make sure that you're only cutting a thread and not your hair, okay? It's very easy for the two to get mixed up, so it's important to take your time during the whole takedown process, especially if you want to retain any length. Feel around for the thread to see if you can unravel it instead of having to cut as much if you're worried about cutting your hair, or just ask someone for help. Now that the thread is cut out, or at least a piece of the thread is out, it's time to start the takedown process. For my little concoction that I'll be making, I'm adding some warm water to a spray bottle. I'm also adding some conditioner. I'm using an Aussie conditioner because it provides the best slip to me. It's no right or wrong amount of conditioner that you should add. It's really up to you, honestly. I actually probably added too much. But you want to get that mixed together, then voila! Now we have our secret ingredient to preventing breakage and promoting lymph retention. The purpose of this mixture is to add moisture back to your hair. The conditioner adds that slip to your hair that makes it easier to avoid your hair tangling together and avoiding as many single strand knots as possible. When I first started my natural hair journey, I'm gonna be honest, I did not know what I was doing. I thought it was okay to detangle my hair as is. <laughs> Wrong. I didn't realize how dry my hair actually was after keeping it in a protective style for so long. So I'm basically detangling dry hair, not realizing that I'm breaking my hair off. If you wanna retain any length, never do anything on dry hair. This clip here is in real time, so you can see how I'm actually moving really slow and taking my time taking these braids down. And that's another thing, don't rush the takedown process. Rushing leads to more breakage. In my experience, when you're rushing, you're more concerned with how long it's gonna take to take the braids down rather than taking the time to avoid single strand knots. After the braid is taken down, I finger detangle, the then section that part of my hair off so that it doesn't get in the way. I'm going to repeat this process throughout the rest of my hair. Before I detangle any braid, it's a must to spray my hair with this water conditioner mixture, concoction, you know, whatever you want to call it. This is an example of shed hair. If the strand of hair is short, that's breakage, baby girl. I'm finally done taking my braids down. Thank God, my hands started to cramp so bad. <laughs> I decided to do a length check to see if I retain any length since trimming my hair in January. I have a video on my channel showing you how I trimmed my hair at home, so go watch that if you haven't seen it already. But yeah, my hair was by my chin in the front end, in the back it was just below my collarbone. I'll insert pictures somewhere on the screen. So let's see if your girl retained any length. Okay, period. Stop playing with me. I know y'all see the difference. I definitely retained all my length. Now let's check in the back. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I like what I see. So in conclusion, my method for retaining length works. It's all in the takedown process. That's what really matters. Treat your hair like a plant, sis. You gotta water it. 
I'm spraying the rest of the conditioner mixture in my hair. Y'all really don't understand how bad my hair needed it. It's real dry up there. I'm also doing a scalp massage to stimulate hair growth. Y'all look at that shrinkage, it's crazy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of me and my natural hair journey, go ahead and subscribe right now. Bye.